Hey everyone, welcome back to the third build installment of Gringotts Wizarding Bank by Lego Harry Potter. This is set number 76417, contains 4,803 bricks, that's a lot, <laughs> retails for $429.99, and that is a lot, and the set was provided by the Lego Group for Early Review. And we finished up Manual 1 in the last installment, so we're creeped on to Manual 2. We we'll started on this and we I think we finished up this portion here and so far we've only done three out of 17 minifigures and we still have plenty of stickers left and in this installment I'm going to be focusing on bags uh, seven eight nine so what I'm gonna... <laughs> this thing is so big I can barely even move it somewhere so I'm trying to find a very comfortable place to rest it because this thing's going to get worse and I already have a place that I can film this set. If you remember the old area that I used to do my tutorials by the window, that's where I'll probably most likely be doing these. So that's where we will be working. But in the meantime, we're going to be on the workbench and we're going to tackle bag seven. Isn't that cool? This is a bedside build. We haven't done one of those in a while. Okay, so let me get situated here. 31 bags of excitement, and we're only on bag number seven, so that's a lot. Okay, and we'll just dump them all out on the table. Last time I tried dividing the small pieces out, and I kept losing track of the bin, just wasn't paying attention. So now we're going to be focusing on this. So it looks like we need to build a minifigure. We'll save the minifigure for the last thing that we're going to be doing because I don't want to have to spend an hour trying to find parts for it. So we will save that for the latter part of the build. And we're going to jump to the more interesting stuff, which is this thing right here. Okay. So, in the last installment, we did all this. And this thing's very fragile. Can't really move it too much. And almost looks like we're doing deja vu with bag seven here. Just, start, we got to start somewhere. <laughs> So I'm going to do it on the turntable here. And I found out this, it's a bit noisy, but it's, i got to be careful with this thing is so fragile. But I can rotate this around if needed. And when I do the tour, it will be on this. So don't worry, I will not have to hold the camera and hold my breath. <laughs> Alright. So everybody's in bed, so I have to kind of keep it a little down right now. It's kind of a bummer, but that's how it is. But anyways, I'm going to... I'm trying to... I'm hoping to get this done in a few days. And before somebody tells me that they can do this in five minutes, so, I mean... I'm. This is just something that I'm doing to kind of ease my mind from work-related stuff. Usually when somebody tells me that, it's either somebody who's retired or a school kid. If you are currently working, you know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've, been, I've spent enough hours on the computer. I don't need to be doing any more here. I'm trying to find... Okay, I found one of those. I'm just trying to get away from the computer for a bit here because it gets boring after a while. Well, I can't wait to see all this put together. I kind of want to just... Like I said in the last installments, I really want to play with it. And today is August 17th, 2023. So, I didn't think about this until now, but I'm mostly documenting my work on here. Okay, we found a head. And we found a wig. I've had my hair like that before. Oh, I got a shag cut too. 
I'm assuming there's probably too many figures in here. Oh, you have to swap the hair out. What is with that, Lego? <laughs> Swapping the hair out. All right, so we're done with this. All right, put that in there. Yeah, these, these uh, builds are not the most sturdy things right now when you start them, so. And when I was moving this to do the thumbnail, this right here will crumble apart. So whatever you do, just keep it on a flat surface. And uh, looks like we have ourselves a printed coin. Alrighty. It just sits there. Alrighty. So I'm hoping maybe in five or six days of just taking my time with this. I can get this set done. Now, I was thinking about how I'm gonna release the installment series on this. Maybe two videos every day. Maybe no more than three. I don't like to saturate the YouTube channel. I know some, some big guys do that. They'll flood you out with 20 videos. But, I mean, that's just kind of silly, you know. And these are build installments. I don't expect somebody to have, uh, to binge watch this. I mean, if you do, it'd be, you know, let me know if you're binge watching these type of builds. Um, I just edited another tutorial before this thing, before I started building this installment here. So I'm slowly doing tutorials still. So don't think I've abandoned that already. Uh, some people think when I do reviews, I stop what I'm doing and... No, I don't. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, that goes there. I'm looking at the wrong instruction. <laughs> but I'm not, you know, I'm still doing the tutorial gig. It's just, you know, sets like this are good source for parts. But remember, I have to advertise this for Lego. <laughs> you know, I accepted the deal. I have to do it. So, at least it's extra components. Haven't started any new tutorials yet or dug through my bin of related stuff, but I'm hoping I can. Wait a minute. I think this is supposed to go like that. I don't know how I missed that. Oh, because it was showing it built one way. Okay. Well, I can't even get that in there. That's kind of sloppy, huh? Didn't, couldn't put that in there right. All right. And it's nice when it's cool outside, and I'm talking cool as in the 90s. Usually out here it's cooler at night, but no, not tonight. And the pool is still sitting kind of in the 80s, upper 80s. Matter of fact, uh, is it the Atlantic Ocean and the Gulf of Mexico, the oceans there, or warmer than my swimming pool out here in the west in the desert, so that's telling you something. Matter of fact, the pool is not as warm as it usually is. Okay. So, I just got done editing a tutorial. It's, it's under 15 minutes. And it was a redo from a tutorial that I did probably 10 years ago. And I thought it was about time I redid this tutorial. <laughs> so I kind of did when put some humor into it, too, at the, towards the end of the video. And well, you'll find out soon enough what it is. But I thought, you know what, I need to really just clean up the old content and just reshoot some of it to make it more more better than what it is now you know some of it has bad lighting some of it i just wasn't thinking on how to do it uh, like video quality was not great you know those type of builds and and pretty soon a lot of the stuff the older stuff is only in 480 a lot of stuff will be in 1080 and later on 
may film everything in 4K once I get a consumer grade camcorder to do it. But I'm going to try to. I think 1080 is fine. I don't think anybody's going to care on, you know, how high quality it is unless you're a video filly that likes to do that. But for me, I just. It's all meant just to be to back up the ideas. But I still want to give you, the viewer, a better build experience. These will remain the same. But I mean, I'm surprised this old Sony Handycam has still lasted this long, but it did. I know some despise Sony. I never bought a Sony just because of the autofocus on it. That's before I was just, I grew a brain and learned how to to work a video camera. <laughs> but yeah, I've gotten better. And no external light this time. Sorry, I just wasn't going to. I mean, there's no need for a light on this right now. I found that tripod the other day. But I'm missing the little adapter that goes onto the tripod to attach a device to it. So it's absolutely useless right now until I can find it. And I'll check my junk bin and see if I have it in there. But it's one of these tripods that has a unique one that you got to you have to find the, spe the specific piece for it. If I can't find it, this is the tripod that's busted. I'm just going to fix it where it doesn't swivel because this bracket for the light swivels. So I don't need that. But if I can't find the, the thing for it, that's it. It's going to get tossed in the donation bin and then that'll be it. I'll just get me another one. The one I'm using now is all American made. It's all steel and aluminum and stuff and I put that in the wrong spot. And it's a really good tripod. I haven't had any issues with this. It comes with a set of tools. But either that or I'm going to build a light on here. But I'm still thinking about buying a ring light to put around this camera here. In addition to buying another one of those other lights as well. It's all going to be trial and error. The goal is eventually is I want to film these videos anywhere in the house. And the quality is the same. So I'm not stuck back in here all the time. All right. This gets attached here. Now this thing's so fragile, we gotta be careful with it. Let me put that mini figure over here with the other ones. And this goes, uh-oh, we got a hole there. Oh, no wonder it's supposed to go right there. All right. Once this gets strong, we'll be able to move it around a bit more. I'm kind of curious to see how this base goes together here. So yeah, uh, I've been making progress on getting videos done. Um, one of the videos that I'm doing is going to be tutorials is actually from the bin. It's a rough guide, but I actually, through the magic of parting out sets, um, from these offers that I've been getting. I actually managed to scrounge up the correct parts to finish up one vehicle. Isn't that cool? <laughs> so uh, it's actually it's actually wor it's actually paying off now very slowly. So but I I still get those comments though about man my tutorials are real easy to follow. I make them super easy. And I mean, tutor my tutorials are not the most exciting thing, but I make them easy. I want to make it to where you... It, it, here's the deal. i got to make it to where I can understand it. I, I want to make it where you can understand it, too. <laughs> you know, I don't want to make it hard, and, and where even I can't figure out what I did, because then I'm not a good builder if I did that. I'm not a good teacher. So I have to... It's all about putting things in a certain order so you can make sense out of it. I've seen some guys where they'll just, you can tell they're into making tutorials on YouTube just for the extra cash, and they just kind of slap together the tutorials real quick. 
you know, Jay, I'm your, you know, I'm your new competition. Well, you can, you're gonna comp, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna compete with my imagination. You can't see what's in there. Not even I know what's in my imagination. I just build and go with it. You know? I'm just like, ah, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes I just build stuff, and it's just some random hosh posh pile of parts until I find an actual use for it. Wait a minute, I'm looking for a TN 2x2. Two two. So doing two sessions a day on a set for a week is going to be pretty brutal. Okay, let me set these up here because I don't want to lose those. Okay, I see it. Why do we have a hole here? Oh, you know why? Because that is supposed to be moved over here. I'm glad now I checked. Yeah, but I, I'll tell you, editing tutorials is a little more challenging than doing reviews and these style of videos. However, I like doing those because they're a challenge. I learn new things when I do tutorial videos. Um, I'm trying to find ways to make the tutorials faster. You know, I have a certain time frame. This one here, I was shooting for 15 minutes. I was under 15 minutes. So, hey, I'm like, okay, I, I managed this. I did it. I actually got away with it. So I just like, okay, I got it. Filmed, ready to go for you. It's up on YouTube now. It's just not published yet and hasn't been evaluated, so I haven't really gone through the video in terms of it's ready to go for you. Because I may put something in the wrong order, maybe steps could be backwards. There's just a whole entire editing process just to do in tutorials alone. There's just a lot of work. I like doing those. Found the wands to the figure. I found that. Well, oh, there's the nose cone. And I, I'm going to set some time aside this weekend. And I'm going to do the Michael Myers house. See if I can get at least it roughly done so I can start building the guide. There's only going to be two guides with it downloadable. And I cannot wait to share those with you. No, no, they're going to be on Patreon, of course, but they're going to be good quality building guides. They're not going to be something I'm going to slap together and pass it off. I always get some guys saying, well, why don't you just race and get those done and just post them? Because I don't want to have to figure out what I did later on. <laughs> But it's just the second story I got to finish up on that house. That's it. The roof's done. The first floor's done. The first floor is always a pain in the rump to do. The roofs are not too bad. The second floor is you just have to build the frame, but there's no landscaping at all. So it makes it easier. This is basically four walls and a, and a floor <laughs> yeah, that I have to get done. I think I already. I think when I looked at my notes, I stopped after, I think, the first or second level of the wall. I got the floor in, the tiles and stuff in the house. So all that remains is now is just raising up the walls, put the windows in, and then, then I'm done with it. And then I can start building the manual up, starting with the parts list. I don't even know what the parts count on it is and I'm kind of curious so I'd really like to know you know kind of like what, what am I doing? oh okay let me move that over there this thing's hanging on in my hand it's so humid right now everything's just kind of sticking to everything
now. I've even been hearing some of the moans and the aches about, oh, all my buddies went on, went out of town and all we did was sit at home. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's what you wanted. Are we going to be doing anything this year? And I'm like, well, you're looking at it. It's W-O-R-K. I know that doesn't spell the beach. As I'm already taken to... I mean, maybe this winter when I'm off. But I'm not doing it now. Uh, I've gotten, I'm getting side gigs coming in right now. The holidays are coming in. And you'd be amazed at how many people want a website done or a program done that's updated for the holiday season. So those are always fun to do. It depends on what it is. Right now I'm doing a website for an in a medical insurance company. And those are so boring to do. I'm just going to fly out and tell you. You know how you go to those things, they don't make sense? Yeah, they already have somebody that just says, hey, this is how I want it done. I don't want any frilly graphics or anything. Just write it up and make it look like this. Just, I want white background with a blue header and black text. And I'm rolling my eyes thinking, this is why people hate going to web, those type of websites. You know, but, uh, that's what the client wanted. Do what they tell me to. You never get self-employed. You're not working for yourself. You're working for someone else. The only difference is you do not have a boss breathing down your back. But you have to come up with all that on your own. And this goes right here. Now, hopefully we're done building all the sub-step things right now. This goes like this. I'm matching the picture here. And this one goes here with Palisade brick. I guess that I think this I think the olive green is supposed to be kind of like a moss. If they're using this little piece for support. I don't know how. <laughs> you know? I've done this in a few of my manuals right here where I have the little call out that tells you. Although you can just use the highlight, they did here too, but they also use that. So I may have to start doing that more in mine. I figure if nobody's complained and I don't need to worry about it. If somebody says, Jay, I can't follow this, then I will do the necessary revisions. All right, so now we're starting to build, um, I think this is a rock piece. Yeah, one of my tutorials uses this color. You know, here I'm complaining about these subtle colors and sets like this. And I'm actually using those colors in my builds. And maybe I should not complain too much, huh? But building it out of really bright colors would look kind of off for this specific project, so I don't want to do that yet. friend was showing me some of the, the new CMFs, the, the new CMF minifigures that have came out. And I've been kind of buying a lot of them up. I've been kind of inclined to get a few of them myself because some of them have parts that I need. Okay, this goes here. Yeah, that's, there we go. I don't know. <laughs> kind of I think this is going to fit on top. We don't know what's going to happen yet. I don't know. I'm hoping it's in this installment because I really want to see how this goes together. I think this thing's going to be interlocked. You're going to probably, if I want to take it apart, I'll have to have the manual here 
right by me to reverse engineer and how to take it apart. I may, uh, I may do a, I may do a video on this turntable and just kind of talk about it. Seems like a lot of people forget this type of stuff, you know, they don't care to have it, but it makes it so much easier. And there's a palisade brick right in there that you gotta put in. Maybe I should have put that in first. There we go. And we're back here at the top here. And I'm gonna slide this a little closer to me here. I think you can see what I'm doing. Yes, you can, barely. Once this thing gets a little more sturdy, we will uh, be able to move it around a bit more. I think this thing is supposed to go like this. You know, the, to make it a nice good cross bracing for setting that large building on top that we will be building. Well, I don't know when, to be honest, because it's set so big. I just got to remind myself that I got that minifigure over there in, in shambles. No, that doesn't go there. Uh-oh. Okay, before I really press that down in there, and I caught myself, too. And that's a 1 by 12, and boy, that's just sure pulling everything apart. You're going to get a little carried away like I did. Just put that in there like that. All right, we got this hole here. All right, well, it's even, and it's in the middle, so I think we did okay. Oh, wow, talking about slopes. We're going to have to put slopes up this whole thing here. Lots of these uh, one by two by two thirds. You need 12 of them in total. Okay, so on this side on the right, we need to place five of these. And then a one by one round flat tile. Put another one here. Hey, we're almost done with this back. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I gotta do the minifigure though, too. Yeah, I wonder how hot it's going to be for Halloween this year. I remember one year, the Halloween was like in the 90s at night. <laughs> and there's been some nights, and Halloween rolls around, it's like freezing cold. I don't know, we're having freak rainstorms out here lately, so that's kind of strange. Now, if you're left with studs and tiles left like here, th this, usually Legos always kind of give you a spare or two, so. And this goes here, and this is what we have remaining. Not too bad for bag eight, or bag seven, I mean. And I almost forgot the minifigure here. <laughs> now, I mean, let me get a bookmark here. I know I, ooh, I don't want that falling behind the couch. I'll never get that out. 
fact, I'm missing a sticker sheet. I'm hoping it didn't fall back there, but I have a feeling it probably did. Um, it's one thing I hate about when they provide um, minifigures and sets like this. Sometimes, like, it's kind of almost like a, a bad thing if they don't put it at the beginning, because then you can get all the minifigures done. I can't even find it. Okay, there's the other sticker sheets. All right, let's get this thing together here. <laughs> let's get the boring stuff done. At least, we, I don't think the next one has a minifigure, so... Um, we're gonna keep it more of the wizardy stuff. We don't, we don't, I don't want him to look formal. Well, maybe we should use the shag hair. Because this always makes somebody look more youthful. I mean, most of us guys in their, you know, from our single digits up to our early 20s usually has that hairstyle anyways. I'll guarantee you most dudes have this hairstyle one point or another in their life the flippy shag look they say they didn't they're probably lying to you even i've had that girls that go bonkers over that stuff they still do today and that's him he's done okay we can put him over here now get the wig out of the way now we're going to start with baggage Okay. Uh, is there a minifigure included? No. Harry Potter's only half, almost halfway through the book. Okay. So, two bags. You should have two bags in your box. Get the manual off here real quick. Yeah, so this installment, I was looking at the bags. Some of the later bags is not a whole lot of pieces in them. So I'm going to save... Like, I'm going to have one installment that's going to have four bags. So... We'll see how it goes. Just unpack it all. This is kind of a waste of plastic here, if you ask me. Just... I'm going to say, well, why do you care about the environment? You actually use Legos made out of plastic. Yeah, but this plastic I'm keeping. I don't toss it or sell it or anything like that. I keep it. I hoard. A lot of us didn't have this stuff when we were kids, so <laughs> we hoard it up. Okay, so we're here, making sure we're facing the right way. And we're going to have to dig all these out here and put them in here. Be careful, I guess. Boy, that is just not going in, is it? I mean, you literally are stacking plates upon plates. These are strengthening up this mess. When I moved, it was very flimsy earlier. So, let me put the stickers over here. We haven't put any stickers on, huh? I have a feeling, a gut feeling that we're going to be really just placing stickers all over this thing towards the end of the build. And... Alright, let me start over here at this end here. You need a couple of these 1x3 flat tiles. All the big pieces, and I got a mind for the little stuff here. Oh, a skull. Why aren't the bodies in there? Or is it just a skull? Because I need the... Ooh, I need these. Silver metallic chains. Well, I hope there's more in there. Got ourselves a pitchfork, too. It's probably for a scarecrow. Right, we got two of those chains now. I'm trying to find the 1x3s in here. But I'm going googly eyes all over the parts. All right. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on. I made a mistake. There's supposed to be a one by one round right there. I was looking at that thing, and well, those things are supposed to be even, but mine are not. So. Okay. And then this goes here. And then a couple of slopes. 
I haven't found the stuff for this side yet, but I found this finding the stuff for the other side. by six tile. Ooh. It's turntable strong, but not when it's close to the edge it's not. I don't want to bust this. Because if I break it, I have to turn this stuff all by hand, which is not going to be fun. Like It's just sitting on a counter and I have to rotate it. So, that's why you always take good care of your stuff. I haven't found any pieces for this side yet, but that's... Kind of weird. Like I'm literally just piecing it together. Okay, I'm missing two one by threes that go in here. You notice when you start the build, it's always the slowest because you've got to go through all the parts. Once you start going through the big stuff, then it, it goes quicker. All right. And it looks like we're putting rock facades in here. So let's start with this side here. Now, I notice a lot of people don't comment on these videos, and that's quite all right. I'm still going to talk on these anyways. You know, I know Dan and Janet sometimes will chime in, but you know, if you ever want to just ask a question... It's not my vision, and it's not about where I get my parts from. I'm okay with it. <laughs> you know, I've already answered those enough. I don't put any more strength in there. I don't know what we're doing with that. Oh, one by six slope, 45 degree slope. Those are hard to find. These make great slate for slate roofs and stuff. I just don't have enough of them. Okay, now I'm gonna slide that over here. You know what? I got a better idea. And the reason being is, is we're gonna be building, looks like part of a laboratory here. I'm not sure which way the skeleton head is facing. Does it show it on here? It shows it away from us. I'm assuming that the skeleton head is facing that way. I just have it randomly sitting here. Oh, I thought that was glow in the dark. No, it would have been cool if it was. Yeah, I'm getting starting to get severely behind on answering comments on the main channel. Right now I'm hitting reviews and tutorials. And it's just sometimes it gets to be a lot. And I always swore I would never be one of those type of YouTubers. Well, I'm starting to slip on it now. I think what it is is that my day my my daytime, my daylight, my my life has been changed. I I have a lot of other things I got to get get going other than doing Lego stuff, you know that kind of thing. So, answering comments now are starting to get far and few, which I swore I never will do. But unfortunately, I have to prioritize things. And this is considered fun, and fun always has to magically end early and do all the chore stuff next. <laughs> I'm hoping to have more. During the winter months, I'll have a lot more free time for this type of stuff. Hopefully by then, winter will be more bearable. Let's just hope there's no more pandemics and stuff to shut everything down.
Okay. I'm gonna find a black brick with a, it's a modified brick with a little shaft on the side. All these big pieces and I'm barely touching them and I'm grabbing all the small little trinkets and stuff. This is what I was looking for. You know, I just saw the other piece. This one goes next with it. I'm not sure what we're putting in here. All right. You know, I just thought of something that I used to do. I used to do live shows in the mountains when I would go hiking. And maybe I talked about this. And I remember when I would go host a live chat room. It was just me talking, and at that time I had an iPhone 5 or an iPhone 4. I can't remember what it was. And I would stream live in the middle of nowhere. Hey, guys and gals, you know, hey, we're going to take a look at this waterfall. Who would like to go on a hike? You know, that's provided if anybody in my party would like to go, and if they're been, they're not physically able, or they just don't want to do it, and I'd say, okay, let me get the phone, and then I would grab the phone and just go for a hike, flip the video on in the chat room, and sometimes it people were amazed by some of the things I'd show. Like that one time, we were in the middle of the woods and there was just a water wheel with the little spoons on it. It was just sitting there, miles from water. I was like, what, what is this doing here? <laughs> and I had to make sure, and you know, in fact, then GPS, you know, and went on there and I thought, well, I'm not on private property. I never saw any trust, no trespassing signs, but I saw them. I thought that's kind of cool. Yeah, that skeleton head's got to be facing this way. So if you're curious, the skeleton head's supposed to be right there. And this thing now is supposed to stand up. Alrighty. Okay, and then this goes here. So I remember those streams, and I thought, I still have most of those live streams that I did. And I was thinking, that was weird. It felt like somebody was sitting on my bed, but nobody's even in here. Okay, we got to build some more stuff. But I was just remembering that one time there, we were, I was hiking an area and I just found some random patch of snow. I was like, oh, guys, look, snow. I mean, I never really see it. It was cold and all that stuff. And I was like, then I would write everybody's name who's in the chat room in the snow. And... The next friend of mine got me kind of hooked into that, so I would write everybody's name in the snow and stuff like that. Or one time I did it at the beach. Like, thanks for joining, you know, and those were the fun days. I got to get those videos up on the... I got to get those videos up on the, uh, on YouTube be something to kind of share. I mean, the quality won't be good, but you know, some people get motion sickness, but I mean, I got the stabilizer and stuff. I may be able to do it digitally. But I may just uh, put those up there just for, just for fun, you know. And I remember those were fun to do, you know? Those live streams were fun. 
And at that time, that's when I started getting popular into Lego. What's funny is because the Lego community, anybody who was in the Lego community thought those were the most boring thing. I thought you were going to build Lego while you're in the woods. Why on earth would I do that? <laughs> I'm in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I, I had one guy says, oh, I bring sets with me when I'm doing Lego stuff. Wait a minute, how does that even go? How is that even possible? Okay, this is backwards here. But I remember, though, those were the days, you know. <laughs> and time I was walking, it was like 8 o'clock at night. It was dark, and I was probably about 30 minutes away from camp. It was getting dark. I was like, guys, i got to hustle it up. And then everybody was like, oh, this reminds me of Wrong Turn. This is like a movie. Be careful. Look behind you. <laughs> you know, that stuff, you know. I remember those. Those are so fun to do. I may have to do them again. Out here, I could do some areas out here where I'm at, but last time I tried doing something like that, people out here looked at me kind of weird. Most people out here still use a flip phone. No internet or nothing. They'd probably really freak out if I used beat, had the beats in my ear. I'm sitting there talking and hearing everything. But yeah, I remember the, just doing those were fun. Fun, I haven't had that in a while, but they were just fun to make and film and just to have everybody's expressions like, oh, can you go back? I want to look at that. Okay, cool. One time I remember we were over there at the marina up there in the Sierras, reading off all the rules of the of the water. <laughs> and I may just repost those back on line or just post them. I have the raw footage. I'd like to back those up just in case something happens to it. So I may just end up doing that, just that. Put them on YouTube just for fun to preserve everything. It'd be like what we're doing here, except there'd be a chat room. Now, a lot of people in my party at the time when I was doing the hikes, they didn't like going walking. Either it was either you sit and you drive somewhere, or they, you would, or you, the only thing you'd get up is to get up to the ice chest to get a beer. <laughs> I tried getting my dad to do one of those things with me. He didn't want to do it. Okay, there's got to be one that's regular. They show a regular brick with bow in here, and I can't even find it. I found a bunch of inverted ones, but they're not doing any good. I right, see this is all I'm finding right here. Let's pull all these out. They show a regular one here with the studs on the top. It's like this, but... But there's studs here. Oh, here it is. I tried to get my dad into doing it. He didn't want to do it. My nephew would rather stay at camp and play video games. And that was the last of that. And I'm like, guys, you never know. This is going to be gone. Oh, it'll be there. That place I hiked at, a year later it was gone. And I've talked about it on here. It got wiped out by the by the fires, by the Big Creek fire. So the forest that I hiked in with all the birds chirping and stuff like that, it's a ghost forest now. It doesn't even exist. Oh, we're going to put a sticker on that. Wow, what a waste. And that's sticker number 15. And is it 15 or 5? 15. That right there. 
but yeah I was just kind of flabbergasted that all that's gone and you know I got to enjoy it before it disappeared forever I didn't want to have to deface that but I had to But for the most part, though, those streams were fun to do. <laughs> and I mentioned this in a previous installment, though, but when it was time for vacation, man, my mind was in vacation mode. I was not thinking about anything. But where am I, what am I going to do? <laughs> I get up and I'm wondering, oh, I know what I got to do. I just can't wait for it to end. I have a buddy I know online, he'd like to do the camping gig, but we're in two different states. And we got one of these funky gear with the cross axle thing on there. They built one on the other side here, so I don't know what these are for. Well, we shall see eventually, huh? We'll have to we'll have to wait patiently for this. Well, at least they give you the straight view on how that's supposed to face. Sign's supposed to be out all the way straight like that. And then all right, let me straighten that up there like that. See, I didn't do it right. As long as it's like that. Pretty cool. Okay. All right, I survived that. <laughs> All right, and that goes in here. It goes right there. Yes, it does. And I just checked to be sure. I wanted to make sure I'm, I didn't want to commit to anything and then have a problem. I always love the sand green color. But yeah, I kind of just miss those things, just doing those fun little little hiking things and stuff like that. Oh, Jay, you need to be a tour guide. Oh, I'd have to be very knowledgeable about something to do those. Alright, and two slopes. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to empty the camera off here. I'll have to check. I have a another memory card. It's got some tutorials. I'm trying to clean it off right now. And um, I don't want to get caught with my bridges down when it comes in terms of backing up the memory card. The jack that transfer the files on it is just bad. So I can it's like one of those micro USB cord things and this camera here is so old. This is before they made Wi-Fi cameras a thing. So I can't send it over my Wi-Fi to send the files over. I'm looking for another one of these. Mm, I found an inverted one. Yeah, tomorrow we'll be finishing up this manual. Well, technically later on today, since this is a, a bedside build. I'm trying to find that round one by two brick. Oh, I see it. And this goes up here that you cannot see. All right. So, right 
here. Wow, okay. There we go. Yeah, it runs right up into that too. Okay. And then back down we go. One time I was, if you're on my scenic channel, I do have some of those videos on my scenic channel. I won't post them on here because I have a nature channel. I know some of those were getting kind of ranty, so I stopped doing those. I started doing more of a vlog style one, like what I'm doing here. People prefer that format a bit better. I've been thinking about bringing them back. Um, out in my area now, it's I don't know, the crime's starting to get old, it's starting to pick up out here, so I don't know. And I kind of want to uh, just do some of those things, even out in my area, it'd be kind of cool just to kind of explore something. can't see there's a slope there I think the slope goes on this top stud sometimes I can't tell that's why 3d manuals are sometimes will come in handy but the thing I like about a paper manual as you can see I can see four to eight steps at one time so I can kind of glance and see what we're doing in advance versus just a regular digital manual where I only can see one page at a time. It's probably the only downside. If they, would, if they would just have this, like a program that I could put on my computer that I could do that. I know some of you mentioned about it. I wish they could. It would make it things a little easier because I'd use the computer more for it. You know, somebody said, do they have a program for Mac? I'm like, no, they don't even have a program for Windows. You just have to use the Goofy app for it. Some of you have told me some very colorful language and how you feel about the digital stuff. And it's going to happen eventually. We just got to get used to it. All right. Okay. Well, so far so good. We've made it. Not done yet, though. <laughs> see it now there's a piece that goes right here oh, there's a bunch of stuff up here not just a piece there's a bunch of things All right, let's put the bunch of things in here well, I need these first and That's what we'll be working at right there. Well, let's start pasting pasting parts on there. Let's use some crackle and make everybody cringe. Yeah, the other night I had chicken strips. Those were so good. And I'm gonna be working late. Later on today, I gotta go out and run some errands and stuff, so I will not be here till late at night. At least I'm up late because I don't have anything that starts until later on in the day, so I'm kind of getting some of these done now. Like I said, I'm gonna try to do two installments a day. You will probably see the same amount every day. They won't be released in the order. They'll be released in video order, but I think that's it. There's some white plates and something to read here. We got to move it down again. Yeah, it's a lot of 
A lot of camera bump bumping today, huh? All right. Got to make two of these. Oh, they go down at the bottom here. Well, let's just back this thing out and put them right here where you can see what I'm doing. This one here. So you don't really want to pull this thing too much. All right. It's pretty sturdy as it is, but still. Okay. Right here we have a pitchfork. Ooh, what happened? Did I break something? Or did I just not put that in the right spot? Okay, I thought I broke. I was like, whoops, isn't that reddish brown? That would have really broke. And the chain goes... How does that even go here? It's like the tube is facing upwards. The chain goes right here. Something that we're going to have to mess with, huh? May have to take the pitchfork off to put the chain in there. Or just do that. There we go. All right. A little excerpt here we can read. Goblins had the. What? Go Goblins had the Ukrainian. An ability dragon chained up in here before Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and her freed it in their ring its escape. Ukrainian. And the sad thing is that war is still going on. Well, terrorism stuff. Alrighty. I was making sure I read that right. Okay, that does hang over. And back up we go. Well, you might be able to see what I'm doing. We've got to put it on this side here. And... Yeah, right there. Okay. Now we're ready to put it together. <laughs> Uh-oh, so let me get myself situated here. Matter of fact, let me back this thing up here. I've got a bunch of wires and stuff I'm tripping over here. Let's see if I can get it over a little bit more here. The thing is, i got so many power adapters in here, it's not even funny. So... We need to take this one off first and set this one over here. Place this one on here. Okay, and you can see that this is going to lap in it. Let me just, let me see here. Am I zoomed out all the way? Is it just, it looks like I'm not even getting close here. <laughs> this is pretty big. I may not be able to do it with this lamp in here. I'll, let me just do it like that there. All right. And it should fit right on the top. Okay. So. Ooh. So they have it lined up. Okay, I see. They have this key. See, the sand green goes together. All right. So, the sand green's towards me. Here's the sand green mark here, right there. And then we're going to have to piece this over. It's going to get dark here for a second. 
And then we're just going to drop this thing in here like this. And I don't like the way that looks. Oh, there we go. Now it's sucked in there. Squeaky, squeaky, huh? And then I'm just going to grab it like this and I'll show you. There you go. Now, that was scary. <laughs> oh, I don't know how I'm going to move this thing around. And then you take the Technic beam and you put it here at the top. It just locks into these friction pins and this thing will be locked together. Taking this thing apart is not going to be too fun. All right, well. Do I have to stand up to do it? No. All right, there we go. I'm probably going to have to flip it over here to do the bottom, huh? That's how it looks right here. Okay. Yes. You're going to have to brave it. You're going to have to flip it over. Okay. I got the I'm making sure the piece is out first. I'm just going to grab it right here. And flip it over. Yeah, this thing's kind of flimsy here. But once we're done, this thing will be completely interlocked together. I'm just starting at one end, and when I get it looped over, press it in. No, I'm not. And then we got to rotate it again. So if you think that's scary, at least it's not going to come apart, but I'm going to grab it right where I did before. And that's what it looks like at the bottom. And honestly, this thing is starting to get heavy. This is going to be something when you build it, you leave it. <laughs> okay, now we are going to rotate around where the waterfall is at. Right there. I may have to start getting the light in here, huh? And they show this right here. Where does that go in here? Here? Well, let's build it first. Yeah, that's a kind of kind of well robust, but. Because when and this thing now doesn't feel like it's going to move, this thing is pretty strong, but... Let's see what this little piece goes here. They show some lines in here, too. Um, I think the lines are supposed to be lined up with the Technic pin. But what I'm gathering is, is it goes here, and it's one stud above this red Technic brick. It's supposed to be right there. Now, I'm not going to commit to it. I'm just going to tack it in to make sure. And then the bottom part of that is even with this thing here. That's what the red line is for right here. So I think we did that right. That's right there. Yeah, once I find that other tripod, I can put the light over here. It'd be a lot better. And then there's another one here on the yellow side. So everything in here is color-coded. That's pretty good. Alrighty. Well, I'm just going to say this right now. The, you know, I remember last time I said I'm starting to get bored with the build. Well, it's starting to pick up now because we're doing something a little more exciting, but two, um, you could tell the designers really cared about this one because it's color-coded. You can feel where things snap into. Usually the higher-end sets, that's what they do. So I'm taking it. It's probably even here. It means these two Palisade bricks are going to line up, and they do. These right here, we'll just squeeze that in there and uh, 
lock that in place. Yeah, no, not done yet. <laughs> Don't have a lot of parts for bag um, eight. And this one's got the blue on it. It's on this side here. And what I'm gathering is it's right on, right above this tile here. Matter of fact, that's the only place that that can fit. Just this alone looks pretty good as it is. I mean, it's not completed yet, but I, I got to build two of something. Okay, it's like okay, we got a pot of parts here. They give us one extra chain. I'll take a look and make sure we're not forgetting any chains in here. And where's the waterfall at here? There's a small waterfall around here. I'm trying to find it. Well, I don't know. Let's see if we can find the landmarks. I'm trying to find it here. Okay, where's the lantern at that we put on here? There's the lantern. Oh, because we're seeing the waterfall from this angle here. All right. And then you put both of these on this side here. And it's right here. I don't know what fell, but I have to ding it off a point for that now. I think it's that stupid bat. If it is, that's... Okay, I put this on backwards. I'm just going to take the parts off and flip them around. There we go. Um, that's exactly what it is. Every time this little bat keeps falling off, I keep dinging points off of it. I don't know why there's nothing there to hold it in. It just kind of sits there unless they like having parts hanging off. Let me make sure. Yeah, that bat just sits there and just dangles. In fact, I can't even find a page that shows it. Here it is here. You know, there's a black slope that's supposed to go in. That's probably why it keeps falling off. I'll take that back, I'll redact that. And I don't remember ever seeing a black slope in one of these bags. Well, let me go get one real quick, because um, that's probably why I never put it on there. I never saw it. So hold up. All right, so I think we were supposed to put the slope here. That's still just kind of flimsy. And that's it for bag eight. And so far it looks pretty good. We're gonna do one more bag and then we're gonna call it quits. Okay, well, I'm glad now I stopped when I did. <laughs> Guess what? Memory card full up. I had less than 60 seconds left, so that was cutting it very close. And I think bag nine is just a solo bag. So here it is. And Looks like we're adding more, st we're making two of something here. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to build it right by the waterfall. So we'll have something to look at. Matter of fact, let me get the camera up close here with this. Boy, this thing here really doesn't want to cooperate tonight. I'm, I'm going to have to uh, take this thing apart and clean the gunk out of it here. I 
Okay. Here we go. Okay, we got that out of the way. Now we got one more bag left. We're building two things here, so that's going to be pretty easy. Here we go. And they're just complete clones, or not mirrors or anything like that. Well, first, I gotta find another one of these plates. At least it's not small parts we're looking for. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but so far, I mean. For, for this being Lego, and I see a bunch of tubes on this side, but it looks interesting nonetheless. It's it's just the color palette on it. I just really want to see some more bright colors into this. I remember somebody a long time ago took the Death Star and made it pink. <laughs> you know, for the Friends dolls. Uh, these things are pretty evil to some people, so they put them in the Death Star, I guess. And see, this memory card that I have in here now is the one I was working on cleaning off. <laughs> so I'm going to be juggling cards around for a while. A lot of the stuff on this one here that I'm using now can be deleted. We don't need that one right now. Finding the regular ones, but I need the inverted ones. Now we haven't even put the track or anything on here. I think we're, that's going to be in the next installment. I don't know, but I really want to kind of see this thing function. I don't see a mine cart in here, so I don't think the track's going to be in here in this build series. Yeah, this channel is already up to 850 subscribers. <laughs> uh, I guess I must be doing something right. It's growing slow, but this is just merely my archives. So, or my notes for doing reviews and storytellings and stuff. So yes, I actually have to go through these videos three times before they're even published. Like right now I'm filming, that's once. One time, I'm doing it now. The second time I have to go through it is the editing process. And the third time I go through it to index the video and write out the thing and get the notes and stuff for the, for the build. So, three passes. Before, before you see it. Some people will upload a video, they'll put it up on YouTube, and they regret what they had to say. I'm like, don't you proof that stuff? Oh no, when I'm done filming, I send it up to YouTube. And some of these guys, they have the fancy lights, the cameras, they have all their game, they have all their cards in the right place, except when they're done with it, they, oh, there's a radiator grill that goes in the front here. They just publish it instantly, and then if they make a mistake, they go with the flow. <laughs> you know, once you publish it, that's it. There's no take backs. Once you say it, it's out there. Sometimes I'm working on this, and somebody will knock at the door, and I can drop an F-bomb. Because I have to get up. <laughs> I don't want that on here, so I'll censor that out. Besides, the other memory card I pulled off, 
I don't think it has any tutorials on there, but I think it has a bunch of reviews and builds and unboxings. So I need to get onto those because those are actually going to be released probably about the time, or probably a week or two before this one is. Like Lego's kind of, the like, geese gave me 10 days, but this is only one of two of the sets that I got to build. You've probably already seen the other one by now. Okay, I'm looking for the little corner tiles. Oh, okay, I found another one. I'll probably be spending half the night here looking for tiles. <laughs> um, already picked up all the containers. Okay, we get some of these gems. I'm always looking for these. Looks like you get two of those in there. Ooh, oh, I mean, I thought that was a sparkly tile. That was reflection off the wall. It's like, oh, they actually got sparkles on those? Those have been cool. Like water or something, but no. Sadly, they're not. Yeah, they didn't do that. All right. I am totally lost. Okay, there's another one there. Probably all hiding back in here. We got, we got all these big pieces, and we're doing the little stuff next. All right. Oh, I need these. One by four profile bricks, a single groove in brick yellow. And I need a bunch of them. And this set has them, just two. But I know that they exist. So I need to order probably about maybe 500 of them. No, I don't. I'm not in the lug bolt program. I wish I was, this and I would be buying a box of those things and having it here. I have a few friends that are in it. If you're an ambassador, you have access to it. Um, but it's mostly recommended for lugs. Basically, you, if you have a group of Lego builders, you can all pitch in and place bulk orders and then you get the stuff cheaper through Lego, and it's not like, you know, I'm a small hobbyist. I don't, there's a minimum you have, there's a minimum order you have to clear, and the minimum order is way out of my league. You know, my orders a month are only probably about $50, and I don't place a lot of orders anymore, but still... But getting parts in bulk, the next cheapest place for consumers to get them is, is BrickLink. But be careful, I've found some parts on BrickLink more than they are on uh, Lego's Pick-A-Brick. Although Lego's Pick-A-Brick is, if, if you've bought from there before, you know my rants on that, how slow it is. So it's either you pay a little bit more for... BrickLink and you get the parts quickly or you just pay a little less and you go through Lego and you pay a bit you, you yeah you pay a bit less but okay this needs to go the other way here Must be another one of these type of doors. Let's set that one there, because I'm going to need to make two of these here. Yeah, I'm checking that camera. I, you know, this one's about, this memory card here is almost about halfway full. just have to start editing things tomorrow and start cleaning things off and because it won't be for long before my card is full and I'm stuck I have to edit and proof a lot of the stuff because I keep it on the card until I'm done doing the final proofing of a video and then I remove it like on this card here I got a couple of tutorials I think there's three tutorials on there two of them have already been done, one's been proved, 
So I'll just yank off the, and a couple of reviews that I've already released. So I need to yank those off. And just kind of clean, you know, do some housekeeping on that. That's a chore because <laughs> I got to make sure that I don't delete the wrong files. I've only had it happen once. And that right there is enough for me to really doubly check and make sure that I don't delete the wrong stuff. It wasn't a tutorial, it was part of a, a review that I had to redo. Usually I don't take apart the sets or move them until I get done with that anyways. Just for, just to be sure. Alrighty, we're almost done here. So it looks like bag nine just builds two I think entry doors. I don't know what these are called here. When I do the indexes, you'll you can just scan through the index of the videos. In fact, I'll probably have the first one done and edited before I even get done with the whole build. But I'll tell you that little break I was taking, not doing any reviews for like a whole few days, <laughs> was kind of nice. I didn't have to get anything done at least there's not a whole lot of sets this time and it's something that's complete this is a complete build so I'm obviously going to assume that this is a standalone thing but Okay, looks good. Okay, two of these. I have a few of these in nougat, medium nougat. Uh, it's always nice to have a few more arches. Unless we have the companion that goes on the bottom with them, huh? All right. Now mind you, we're still building two of these too. Like submarine doors. Hey, right now this is not going to be just a display piece but I think this is also meant to be played with too now I'm always looking for sets that are playable as well if it's just something that sits on a shelf that just looks good it kind of degrades the the play experience a bit okay where does the little one by ones go okay I see where they go all right It's the little pieces like this you got to be careful because those are the ones that will mess you up. I mean, really will mess you up. <laughs> so there's going to be about, I think there's going to be 11 videos in total on this whole thing. The 10 builds, possibly, and then the review. The review will be on the main channel. When I do the review on this on this channel, I'm not going to full-blown it. I'm just going to go ahead and just do my rough notes on it. We'll do the tour on the main. Because essentially what we're doing now, this is the tour. It's a very lengthy tour on how we're building it. <laughs> All right. This is supposed to sit up there. Yeah. Okay. Well, i got to find something somewhere. Looking for another one of those. Oh, there it is, upside down. Well, that's falling off. When you don't have a lot of space, yeah. Plus, this stuff here is just kind of flaky right now. Because usually I don't film sets that have multiple installments. Maybe I think the most I've ever had done it was one of these sets I had broken down to about ten. So something like this is going to have multiple installments. Okay, there's six of these, three on each. Okay. 
Okay. And oh, these little arch pieces here. Just the studs on the outside make it look like it's rock or just rough stone. These would be great for submarine doors. And no, we're not done yet. We still got plenty of parts on the workbench. <laughs> Get these right on here. Making sure all the recording devices are still going full blast. And then I have to fix up for bed because I'm going to have to get some work stuff done here. Well, that just came off, huh? So yeah, I'm having some instances of parts coming off. Very minor, though. Just Okay, now we got to build two lanterns. And, yeah, let's get started on the lanterns here. We're almost done with this whole step here, by the way. After, I think it's unique after this. So to use the trailer hitch assembly for the lanterns. See, and these always remind me of a trailer hitch. Now I'm in the mood to go camp and hitch the boat up or something, sleep in the boat. Some of you have been asking for a yacht. I may just do that next year. These obviously snap onto something. I think they go on here for entry points. And then that completes these two items. Okay. Now, we have to put money in one of these, it looks like. It doesn't tell me I need one. It just shows one without it and one with money in it. So, I'll get all these pearl gold studs and start going ham on this plate. Well, they're already coming off on here. Yeah, some of these guys who do Lego stuff, they don't even let their kids in the Lego room. I'm like, I was reading an article on how some of them keep the door locked but they don't allow their kids to play with the Lego and they buy them the leopard stuff and I'm like um, I'm thinking well I think I'd rather have my kids in the Lego room at least I know where they are until the kids and I can hang out and build wild stuff together It'd be kind of cool so I'm just taking this seriously It'd be a good little family project and we take one of these here, we'll flip it around and just shove this in here. I mean, it's a bank, right? And that is it. All right, we're not done yet. So they show one of these we don't, let me make sure here. Then tell me we built two of them. But they show it as red here. You know, I bet they made a mistake in this book. Because we're not even using this one anymore. Set that over there. And I think this one here, we just built some kind of altar for the little gem. 
Hey, I can always use extra ones of those. I just have this sitting in here like that. Put this in the other one here. Like that. And we only have, out of all that mess, we only have three pieces remaining. Now, let's read what this has to say here. Vault 687, Harry Potter Vault. Make sure Harry's gold is well protected. Vault 713, the top secret location. Ah, you can't tell. <laughs> Hogwarts business. Best not to mention this to anyone. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'll have to possibly redact that from the video, huh? And we're not done yet, so... Looks like bag 10 is the one with the tracks and stuff in there. We're not going to do that one tonight. Okay, so... We're going to be focusing, literally focusing, back up on the top. Alright, so the money one goes here. So these must actually be vaults. Now I'm trying to line up some stuff here. I'm trying to think of... I think it's like that. I'm trying to look at landmarks here. It's the one with the short gear right here. Alright, so this... Looks like it snaps into the yellow spot right here. So... Just tack in the top one and... There we go. That's a heck of a climb. We're going to need a step ladder to get in there, huh? And this other one goes right here. I'm just going to tack the top one of these in here real quick. Just kind of feel for it. Just set it in there barely. And then just kind of wiggle it and snap some place. And that's essentially what we've done here. And that's it. And 10, 11, 12. I think 10 finishes up this whole base thing. This is pretty sturdy, but I don't know. I mean, kind of weary on it. And we didn't use a whole lot of stickers in here. Here's the sticker sheets. This one here is actually missing three. This one's missing one. We haven't even gotten to this pretty one yet. So, you know... I have a fill in the main bill. We're going to be stuck with Stickerama there. And that wraps this up. So, let me get everything kind of situated here. I don't know if I can show the whole thing. The bad thing about this camera is here, I have to back it up so far with a 4K, I don't even have to do that. Matter of fact, let me just see something here. I've been talking about setting this up here about there. It's right at the end of this drawer here, so I think I got a winner. I can just use that as a landmark to keep the camera there. And what I can do, if I can find it, we'll get the, we'll get the floodlight in here and then we'll take a closer look. Okay. That's much better, huh? Yeah. Ooh, it's bright. Let's see. Cool. Warm. Okay, so this is what I'm saying. If I had a ring light, I can do this. Have it on the top. I may get me a ring light next. And so far, you can see. Pretty cool, huh? There we go. It's much better. Let me just turn this up a bit more. I like it up at 60. For some reason, 60 seems like it's the best. And as you can tell, there's a lot of detail in here. We're not even done yet. So we saw those tracks in here, and I'm assuming that those tracks are going to be resting right on this somehow, and they're going to be able to stop at each one of these. So we got an entry here. So this is a vault with some kind of tilting thing in there. There's another vault here. And one up here. 
So it seems like one of these sides is missing one. This one right here, but we got the water here. This is cool to look at. I mean, it's so dark and gloomy until you see the blue there, and it just kind of shoots out at you. So I think there's going to be doors on this next. And, yeah. I mean, so far I'm satisfied with this. It's just the colors are just kind of... But for the most part, though, it's not falling apart. So tell me what you think. <laughs> so far it looks pretty good. I'll have to find the tripod for this next. But just to quickly mention, though, um, the tripod that's broke, it has an arm that's supposed to make the thing swing back and forth. Well, this has already got this here. So I'm going to just find that tripod, take a screwdriver, lock the arm in place, and just use this here. I just have to find the adapter that goes from this to the tripod. And I don't know where that went. It has some, it's, not a, it's not a generic one like this one. I got a bunch of these. It's just some plastic thing. I'm hoping I can find it. But anyways, this is done for the night. Tell me what you think of it, everyone.